Today I'm going to be modding this game gear with an adaptive backlight kit from RetroKai. The kit costs around 30 euros and replaces the CCFL backlight tube with a modern LED panel. Um, and the reason I opted for the backlight instead of a screen replacement is, well, I already have one with a modded screen, um, which is nice, it's really good. Um, but I want to keep this one as original as possible. The modern screen kits do have some problems because they have to upscale everything to fill the higher resolution panel. Um, so you'll get uh, cropped edges or some of the, the graphics will look stretched or, or weird. But by sticking with the original panel, the original screen, like you're not going to suffer with any of that. It's all how it should be. So if we can improve the image quality with this backlight kit, bonus. The backlight kit also improves the battery life. Um, apparently it doubles it, so that sounds good. Um, and it removed the bulb glow that you see on the old screens because I noticed that when I'm playing it you can see like a horizontal glow from the bulb um, and this makes it really difficult to find the right contrast it just looks terrible really the, the original screens aren't great on Game Gears the Game Gear I've got has already been recapped I recapped it with a Retro 6 um, capacitor kit so, so yeah hopefully this will improve the quality and make it usable so we have in here, natural light panel, which I will leave safely to the side. A little bit of red cable, and then these these two little cables as well. So, game out. Take that off. Yeah, we can see where we're going to be working, mostly on this side. So yeah, this is what we're working on. We basically need to remove this big section here and the tube which is underneath. If mine does look different to yours, it's because the capacitors have changed already. You can see my little capacitors I've installed. I think I used the, the Retro 6 capacitor kit. Tiny little things to install. The, the previous ones were much larger but um, it went okay actually. Didn't mess up too much. And it works so recap was successful. Need some new screwdrivers for Christmas. These are a bit battered. No, the fuses underneath are not attached, so it's just these uh, copper cables on each side, I think, holding the bulb in. There's some flux on there before I forget. That's the bulb out. We ain't gonna need that. I'll put it in the bag somewhere, just in case we ever need it again. Okay, so let's do the fuses next. Um, I guess we could just sniff them off, but... You know what, I think I might just sniff them off. Oh, we'll do it probably, we'll desolder them. Maybe I should just get the desolder and station out. I think it's going to be easier, isn't it? So this one up here, this orange one at the top, needs to come off. This big yellow box needs to come off. And then I think this blue one and this black one. That is C69 out. Nice. Ok, 
Okay, next was the uh, L2 and C70, which is this round one here and this blue one here. So we'll do those next. more bits are removed and we'll do it a clean so so there's Q4 and there's Q3 I've never re removed these types of things before um should I just snip them off and then clean it up maybe it's probably gonna be it's not gonna be able to put it back together am I when I'm done so maybe snip it off Okay, so a little bit messy, but we've done it. That's all the uh, capacitors and stuff removed. So align the screen, the screw holes like that. So yeah, there's four screws, one, two, three, four. Make sure this is nicely aligned. And then, these screws back through. Right, so before we do anything, let's get some solder on this pad. And then we'll solder this cable on, so we'll do the red one for the 5 volt. This one here is a ground. The other one was five volt and it goes on the top side of that capacitor there. So it's in quite an awkward position. So where's the alternative point? Oh, the alter alternative point looks like this L and this one we've removed here, that might be easier actually. Should we test that it's actually the right one? Let's get my multimeter out. So it said that one's 5 volt, so it should be this L2. Yeah, this left pin. So on the board, there's this little circle area and it's the left side. Cool. Cool, right, buttons. So you solder to C37, left pad, and C38, which is there. So you have the solder on the right hand side of that one. So in theory, all the soldering is complete. That should be it. Yeah, let's try and tuck some of these cables away a little bit. And we'll put it back together. Go back to the first step, which was to trim these off. So it was one, two, three, and four need to be trimmed off. I might have a spare one laying around from a different case, which won't have those tabs on. So I'm just gonna go have a peek in the box my box of crap to see if I have a pre-cut one because then it will save me pissing around with this one. So yeah I do, I had this, uh, I got this case, it was a Retro 6 case and I broke it trying to install it, one of the uh, legs snapped off so it's actually no good. 
I can't use it. I think the metal plate is the same size. Take a game in and see if it works. But yeah, you can see uh, this is where the bulb, what the bulb used to look like. And if you remember before, there was like a strip across the middle of the screen. Um, we can see this bulb glowing, but with this plate, it's now there's even lighting all the way across. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this kit. It's, it was really easy to install actually. There's just the four cables. The component, some of the components were fiddly to remove, but. Nothing too bad. If I can manage it, I'm sure anyone can. Uh, just make sure you've got a desoldering iron because I think it would have been a real pain without a desoldering iron, so definitely get one of those. Now the kit has some options as well. You can press the two buttons, uh, start and two, and it will change the brightness. There's, there's five or four or five brightness settings. Looks even better with this monstrosity attached. I think overall it's worth doing especially if you don't want to pay out for a screen mod this is like a third of the cost so good value and um, it definitely improves the image quality so i'm happy hope you enjoy this video and happy modding